So a funny and really awkward thing just happened. I was going to demo a brand new functionality to the channel in today's Celebrations ETB opening, and then magically the uh, memory card that I was using to record the video in literally fried and probably lit on fire on a microscopic level. So as a result, most of the majority of the footage on the secondary camera that I was using actually just got completely destroyed. And so I am left Left with one camera in a standard view which is my you know normal opening mode so if you're watching today's video and I make a random point about you know a secondary camera definitely feel free to ignore me but with that said I finally got my hands on celebration so without further ado let's roll that intro <laughs> Hey Gengar gang, what is going on? My name is Ryan, this is the Anglet of Gengar, and welcome to another video. Good news, I finally got celebrations. Funny story, it was literally sitting in my backyard because I thought the box was just a random box, but turns out FedEx left it back there for lord knows what reason. So, after much ado about nothing, I finally have some celebrations, and today we're going to open it up. As I mentioned, um, I was going to demonstrate a brand new really cool functionality here on the channel that I recently made some investments in, but unfortunately the memory card I was using on my secondary camera got corrupted, so I lost most of the footage. So as a result, uh, I had to record this little overture, but without further ado, hey, if you like today's video, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Gengar gang if you're not already part of our ever-growing community, and I hope you guys enjoy my first ever Celebrations ETB. So this card has been the source of much ado about nothing in uh, basically, I don't know, the entirety of the Pokemon hobby. Is it a gold star? Is it not a gold star? I gotta say, I am... A little underwhelmed by the coloring on this. I'll probably do another complete video where I kind of show you, but I will say it has like a weird washout on the corner and it could just be this particular card. The back of this card looks relatively decent, so I am likely going to submit this to get graded and I will probably try to have it graded as a pack. Of course, I'll also have a whole bunch of graded as um, individuals as well because it is, you know, a pretty neat card nonetheless. Uh, but yeah, there there you have it. There's the Greninja Gold Star that everyone was so excited about. Next up, of course, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the pack selection real quick. So every ETB comes with 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 celebrations booster packs. There they are for your viewing entertainment. And then you get five additional booster packs. So in this case, I got two Darkness Ablaze, one Battle Styles, one Chilling Rain, and one Vivid Voltage. So uh, I guess we'll just do two and one. So without further ado, and finally, let's go ahead and crack into one of these celebrations booster packs. Now I know these are notoriously thin, and the main reason for that is because there's only four cards per pack, so there is that. Bear in mind, all codes will be given out individually to people who hit me up. So if you want a code for the online TCG, all you need to do is hit me up and you will receive a code. So here's a code, but again, not being given away. Just hit me up if you want one. And finally, we begin. So first up, we have the Zekrom, and by the way, I did a video, so if you're interested on learning more about Celebrations, the individual cards that are there, definitely feel free to check that video out. Here is the Zekrom. I immediately see some printing defects on this, as well as some interesting red dots, so interesting to see how that's going to play out. We have the Groudon, another card that I was a big fan of. Not as colorful as some of the other cards, but that's quite alright. Next up, we have the Ho-Oh, so, so far I'm doing pretty good. I'm 3 out of 25 cards for the complete set. And next up, we have a Lunala. Very cool. So our first pack was, quote-unquote, a dud pack, in as much as I only got 4 holographic cards. Can't complain. Uh, next up, let's do another Celebrations pack, then we'll crack open to a Darkness of Blaze pack really quickly. And we'll see how far we get. Alright, and again, code cards not being given away. Hit me up if you want one. All right, we have a Cosmoan, a Palkia, a Reshiram, 
a an Azacian V card. So this is neat. This is one of the Mitsuhiro Arita um, cards. He came back, he drew the Zacian and he drew the Zamazenta. Really nice card. I love that holo. More importantly, the Pokemon just looks dope. Now, one of the cool things about this set in particular, we're going to crack open to this Darkness Ablaze. Um, one of the cool things about this set in particular is that there is a weird amount of, um, what do you call it? There is, eh, I guess a weird amount of holographics. Like, everything is technically a hit. So it's one of those things where, yeah, maybe, you know, you need to go out of your way to, like, you know, do a lot of openings. But in theory, it's only going to take you so many packs in order to pull every single card you need. And more importantly, with any luck, you should be in a good situation to just be done with the set relatively quickly. So I have a feeling a lot of people are going to open the set, get the 50 cards, um, and then probably call it a day. Also, there's tons of reasons why you shouldn't even be buying celebrations. You should probably just, you know, get the cards that you need from online sources. So here we have Alugia, my first double, which is a Reshiram, my second double, which is a Palkia, and a, a professor's research. As you remember, this card is unique because he's drawing on the area where the description usually is, which is really odd. So the good news is I have 10 cards so far. Nothing out of the uh, secret vault though. And from what I understand, you're supposed to be getting, oh sorry, the classic collections. You're supposed to be getting a classic collections card in about every two packs or so. So by the way, it is not a guarantee that you will be getting a classic collections card every single time. Something to bear in mind. Now we have a Zekrom, which is a dupe. We have a Dialga, which is not a dupe. A, we have a Reshiram. So this is super dope. We're going to take a look at this in a hot second. And we have a Full Art Pikachu. So the Full Art Pikachu, I know for a fact, is very, very common, shockingly enough. The reason that it's um, so favored is because it is an expansion of the original Pikachu card, um, which you'll see on screen right now. So that's pretty neat. So that makes it 12 cards in total that I have for the base set. And then here is my first ever hit out of the Classic Collections. It is the Reshiram full art card from black and white in case anyone's curious when these were originally printed these cards were in fact some of the first ever full arts the reshiram and the zekrom out of the black and white base set so we have a lot to um throw back and look at these cards for these cards by the way are textured and they have that celebrations holographic pattern whether you love whether you like it or not it's there to stay so there is that but a really cool card and yeah, four packs in, it looks like I finally hit my first one, which, uh, better late than never, I suppose. Next up, we're going to open up another Darkness Blaze. Our last one was a green code card, so a little bit of a heartbreaker there, but, you know, let's, uh, all right, got another green code card. So we're not going to do anything fun, wacky, you're cool with this, we're just going to fast roll everything and sort of get out of there. Now, in case you're curious, um, one of the things that I have begun to do is better sort my cards, especially when I'm opening them. So what I'm trying to do off to the side is actually sort my cards by common, uncommon, energy, and reverse, and regular rares. The hope being, in doing so, it's easier for me to manage my bulk in the future. So if that is something that you are interested in seeing more of, um, or at least my system on how to go about doing that, definitely feel free to let me know down below in the comments, and I will do my absolute best to get some videos out on how I'm managing my bulk. And immediately, I notice we got another big hit. So this is the Kyogre card, and it is even more pretty in person than it is anywhere else. So the reason I really like this card is I love the fact that they snuck in some color down here at the bottom. It really helps contrast really well with that blue. Uh, some quick notes about printing defects. I see a lot of red dots, which is really interesting. Let me know down below if you have seen or heard of anyone with those red dots. But in the meantime, that is my 13th card out of the entire set. And one of the reasons that I'm being a stickler about that in today's video is because I'm trying to get folks a good understanding of how many packs they need to open up in order to complete their set. Here is my second card out of the classic collections. You may not recognize it, but it's Rockets Admin out of the Team Rocket Returns set um, the, from the EX era. And hey, yo, 
there is the Full Art Professor's Research. So this is pretty dope. This is another uh, big pack, I think. So this is what they say when they mean that sometimes you get some double hitters. Sometimes you will get a classic collections card and then either a full art or something a little bit more spicy from the original 25 base set of celebrations of course the both these cards are textured so that's really nice and they're both really pretty holographic cards so that is pretty dope that brings me up to a total of i believe 14 cards from the original set so next up let's grab another celebrations pack and i have Five, so we're about halfway through the booster box when it comes to celebrations packs at this point. Let's see what our fifth pack brings us. I'm gonna take the code card, put it off to the side, and we have a Dialga, which is a duplicate. A Xerneas, which is not a duplicate. A Evil Tall, which is not a duplicate. That's dope. A and a Surfing Pikachu. Okay, so that was a very productive pack. Here's another one of those um, OG sort of vintage cards that's been reprinted um, and spiced up a little bit. So here's the card. It is just an entire sheet of holographic in case anyone's curious. So definitely watch the population on this card. It could definitely be an interesting card to watch going forward. With that, it now brings me up to a total of 17 of the 25 cards from the original set so do bear that in mind for right now doing pretty well i only have two cards from the classic collections however with that said let's open up this battle styles pack and go okay got another green code card i don't know how they're seeding it and that's what kind of confuses me is that normally in an etv i'm a big advocate for the idea that there will be a total of um there will be a total of you know one or two hits per box sort of guaranteed but one of the things that i'm sort of struggling with is i don't know how they're going to seed it like what if they give you a really good regular booster pack and then your celebrations hits are not it i don't know how that's going to work so that's one thing to take a look at and consider the other thing is that celebrations has a white code card and that texture definitely weighs down packs so i would advise against buying loose packs unless they're from a very trustworthy source mainly because i have a creeping suspicion celebrations can be weighed um and if anything it can probably be used you know to your disadvantage so do bear that in mind i've got a dupe a dupe and not a dupe hello and then another dupe. Okay, cool. So here's a classic collections card. This is the Luxray Level X card uh, from Generation 4. Another super dope card. Um, you'll notice a few things. The borders back then were really different. Um, obviously, big EX fans, so the irony of that is not lost on me. And they kind of took that over into Generation 4 as well. By Gen 5, they moved on to Full Arts. But another really cool card, and you, know, you really have to appreciate how pretty that card is. And that actually makes my third uh classic collections hit let's move on to our fourth or rather yeah yeah actually yeah let's move on to our fourth that's the energy i want for this uh all right so code card groudon dupe cosmog not a dupe okay that's productive evil tall a dupe and surfing pikachu a dupe okay interesting so it looks like by the time you get through one etb's worth of stuff you are going to start seeing tons of duplicates at that point i really do believe it's all about the uh classic collection it's probably going to take you like two or three etb's to pull all of the um you know crazy stuff so after that, I would really probably just target in on the various, you know, classic collection stuff that you're missing. We've got a uh, steel energy for this vivid voltage pack, or rather this uh, chilling rain pack. And then uh, I'm going to fast roll the rest of this because, yeah, we have a Hatterene and a Saviper. So, so far, really not doing great in the, um, in the particular area uh we are gonna open up this vivid pack last i'm gonna open it now because i just want to get the regular packs out of the way and hopefully end on a really big hit fun fact it is a white code card so that is good finally out of the five packs that i got one is at least a white code card i'm gonna do the one two three four from the back and we will begin i have a water energy a shuckle a nuzleaf memory capsule chat hot Clawbapus, Skidoo, Shuppet, Pharaoh Seed, Skidoo, and <sighs> a hollow. 
All right, well, I mean, hey, the good news is that I didn't buy this for Vivid Voltage booster packs. So at least there's that, because if I did, I'd be really sad, but technically I don't care because I'm good. I'm not crying in the club. More importantly, two more booster packs of celebrations to go. Will we pull the gold star Umbreon? I don't know, I hope so. Moving on. All right, we're gonna do it like this because honestly, I always spoil that first card for myself anyway. And then I'm gonna flip over a Xerneas. So that is a dupe, very good. The evil call is a dupe. Ay, ay, okay. So here's another one. Um, so I'm now up to, I believe that is going to be 18 cards. And here is my first of the big hitters from the set. Uh, these are obviously going to be the big boys themselves, the original three. This is a beautiful Venusaur reprint. As you can see, has its own texture. Um, and I mean, honestly, it's a pretty good recreation of the original. I mean, you can tell, at least I can, that it's, you know, definitely like recently printed and that's not with looking at the texture, but it's a good looking card nonetheless. Um, and I really do appreciate it. Again, we're four cards into the, you know, 25 set. So honestly, not terrible. And here's the final pack for the day. Friends, thanks again for checking out another video. I appreciate your viewership. And as always, thank you for stopping by. If you liked today's video, make sure to leave a like on the video and let me know. It helps me out in the algorithm. Of course, if you're not already, feel free to join the Gengar gang by subscribing down below. And we're going to wrap it off with a Pikachu VMAX and a code card for the gang because I like tricking the bots. Haha. <laughs> but friends, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Let me know down below how have your celebrations hits treated you and thanks again for watching we'll talk soon peace